This is an amazing problem. Which is larger? 50 raised to 50 or 49 raised to 51? And you are not allowed to use a calculator. You might think that this is stupid, as how can we compare such big numbers without using a calculator? But that is the beauty of math, isn't it? So, can you solve it? As a first step, let us divide both sides of this by 49 raised to 51. So, the left-hand side will be this, and the right-hand side will become 1. Now our question becomes comparing 1 with this value. Now we will only work on left-hand side. You can write this as 49 raised to 50 plus 1. Hence, using power rule, it becomes 49 to the 50 times 49th. Check both of these powers, they are the same. So we can write this as 50 upon 49 raised to 50 times 1 upon 49. Now this 50 in the power can be written as 49 plus 1. So again, using power rule, we can write it as 50 upon 49 raised to 49 times 50 upon 49. And this times 1 by 49. So it becomes 50 upon 49 square. Great! Now we can write this 50 as 49 plus 1. So this thing inside the bracket becomes 1 plus 1 upon 49, and then we have whole raised to 49. And this times 50 by 49 square. Awesome! If you notice this thing, it is of the form 1 plus 1 over n whole raised to n. Now you can see where I am going. You might have heard about the Euler's number e, which is nearly 2.718. Its definition is given by the limit of 1 plus 1 over n, whole raised to n, as n goes to infinity. What it means is, suppose you use n as 1, then this value becomes 1 plus 1 over 1 whole raised to 1, or it is 2. Then if you use n as 2, then this value becomes 2.25. Then if you use n equals 3, it becomes 1 plus 1 over 3 whole raised to 3, which is nearly 2.37. Now, this is the graph of the value of n on x-axis and the value of 1 plus 1 over n whole raised to n on y-axis. You can clearly see that it approaches a constant value as n increases, and this is what we call Euler's number e. So. 1 plus 1 upon 49 whole raised to 49 will be approximately e. So the expression becomes e times 50 over 49 square. As e is less than 3, so this value will be less than 3 times 50 over 49 square or 150 over 49 square. We have 13 square as 169, which is greater than 150. So this value will be less than 13 square over 49 square, or 13 over 49 whole square, which is way less than 1. Amazing! So our left-hand side is less than 1, which means 50 raised to 50 is less than 49 raised to 51. Isn't this cool? If you like it, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and support this channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!